Hey, KU fans, thanks for logging on to KUSports.com. We're here in Allen Fieldhouse for a little post-game coverage of tonight's 92-74 exhibition victory over Washburn. I'm Matt Tate. This is my man, Benton Smith, and we're going to talk a little bit about this game, a little bit about what we wrote about. But bottom line, Benton, it was ugly. It was not a pretty, clean performance, and I think the players and Bill Self all thought the same thing. Yeah, that was one of the first things that Frank Mason talked about after the game in the, the post-game press conference. It was just like, there was really nothing to be excited sure. about. Or yeah, like, Frank almost had a triple-double, yeah, exactly. and he was like, we, we played bad. He's like, I don't care about that. Right. We played terrible. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's good to kind of go through the go through a game like that and kind of figure out what are your biggest weaknesses. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's I think it's ultimately going to be a good thing that they figure out some of those things. Like, they were careless with the ball. Sure. They didn't do a good job on the ball. Sure. I mean, those those are things that will, will kill you down the stretch of a season. But if you can kind of address those early, yeah. maybe that's a good thing. Well, especially with Indiana and Duke looming, this, this is the kind of thing where Bill Self could show him the tape and he can say, you think that's going to beat Indiana? You think that's going to beat Duke? And the obvious answer is no way. And, and I thought Josh Jackson made a good point. He had 14 points, but also five turnovers. He didn't score until the second half, midway through the second half. Not what people wanted to see, not what people expected from him, but I thought he made a good point after the game. He said, hey, this was our first time playing together. You know, I mean, in practice, it's always been against each other, and, and we've never played together in this rotation as a complete group. So, uh, yeah, there's a, there, you have to expect some growing pains, and I, I think it shows the maturity of this team that they're not happy with it and also that they, you know, understand why it happened because that's, that's the important part. If they, if they thought they played great because they scored 92 points and they were fired, up and they were partying right now that that would be a problem but uh, it definitely wasn't like that at all what what jumped out to you offensively uh, offensively I was I was kind of surprised by the lack of production from the from the bigs yeah like Carlton Bragg only had six points that yeah, was early surprising. early yeah. so that was surprising to me um, I, I was kind of surprised that it took so long for Josh Jackson to get going right. but then once he finished the game so strong you kind of set it aside I thought yeah uh, because I mean I felt like he wasn't he didn't look uncomfortable at any point he no. was just kind of in the first Passive. half yeah yeah he was just kind of like you know getting to feel everything out and kind of just fit in like a teammate sure and being like all right I'm the alpha dog now this yeah. is my team right this is what I'm gonna do no doubt and they needed to do that I think they want to see more of that and he was more aggressive in the second half uh, defensively, I think the thing that stood out to me was block shots. They blocked nine, uh, got a few from a bunch of different guys, and it's just length. You know, I mean, even Mitch Lightfoot would get beat and recover. You know, Azabuki would get beat and recover. I mean, yeah, it was a smaller team, but still, it, it, it's, it's that kind of thing that, that makes this team so dangerous defensively. And then if they turn up the effort and, and they guard, I mean, there, there were times where they just didn't even guard. Guys were going right by them to the rim. We've seen that a lot over the past few years, but that's obviously not acceptable for Bill Self. So uh, you wrote about Svi. There will be something on, on the, the, the website uh, on ksports.com about Svi. And what do you shoot, five for six or four for six? Yeah, four, for six, from, four for six from three. And, uh, I mean, got up to I think he terribly missed his first terribly. shot. Terribly. Missed the rim. <laughs> yeah. Missed the rim. And uh, <laughs> ended up hitting four or five from there. But felt like he had a pretty good game offensively. And yeah. then, of course, Bill Self brings him right back down to earth afterwards saying, of he course, was, he was awful, you know, because <laughs> yeah. he turned the ball over. Sure, right? yeah. So, I mean, that, that's good too, you know, to, to get speed to understand, like, we want more from you. We, right. we don't need you to just shoot three pointers. We right. need you to take care of the basketball. Yeah, no doubt. It is his time. Uh, my gamer is about the ugly performance. Uh, I also wrote notes about Josh Jackson and just what he was feeling about his first game. Frank Mason and his near triple double is Tom's column. And then, of course, we'll have video and audio up all over the site. So check it out, KUSports.com, all over the site. It'll carry you through your work day Wednesday, and we'll be back for more very soon. Thanks for checking out this post-game edition of KU Sports Extra. We'll talk to you guys very soon.